Many home and business owners alike are interested in knowing more about Mojave Desert native plants. Plants that didn't require people to help them get their start here in the desert. Plants that are sun and drought tolerant. Plants that thrive here in our difficult soils. Also today, I'd like to discuss what I call Mojave adaptive plants. Plants that have these same durable characteristics but did require people to help them get their start. These types of plants can be a big boon to those folks that would like to improve the look of their landscape and use very water wise and drought tolerant specimens. Our first little guy here is the gamble oak or Quercus gambellii. This sturdy little plant will grow to be a small tree or if you give it plenty of water in time it can actually get to be a nice sized plant. It is deciduous, which means it loses its leaves in the winter, but makes a beautiful tree all summer long. Here's one of my favorites, the coyote gourd, or Cucurbita palmata. This sturdy little Mojave native is a great ground cover. It will sprawl out and reduce that heat island effect that might surround your business or home. The nice thing about this plant during the winter, it goes dormant, easy cleanup, just blow all the leaves away, and in spring, it'll bounce right back again and give you a super ground cover the next year. How about this very charming little plant, the desert holly, or Atroplex hymenolytra? This sturdy little desert Mojave native has gorgeous foliage that's a great addition to any style landscape. Later, in the fall, you'll find it loaded with these little red berries. An attractive addition and very sturdy. This is the desert purple sage, or Salvia dorii. This plant puts out one of the most spectacular color shows of any of the sage in our desert. And like the other sages, it excels in our soil and climate. All of these desert natives will do super in our regional soil and climate. They thrive in these conditions. Remember, they'd like a little organic mulch around them, though they don't require it, they'll do better. Don't overwater a drought tolerant plant like this. It does damage. I recommend you don't overwater any plant, especially the natives. Now to discuss some Mojave adapted plants like this. The red bird of paradise or Cecilpinia pulcherima. This beautiful plant flowers all summer long and like the native plants requires very little water and takes all day sun. A beautiful addition to the landscape and rather ubiquitous here, you'll find them everywhere. A beautiful shrub. There's an interesting story behind this Mojave Desert adapted plant, the Texas Blue Emu, or Iramophila hygrophane. This little desert shrub will produce lavender flowers throughout the year. Even in the winter, you'll find them in abundance. This plant is native to Australia, not here. But think about it. Australia has a very similar climate to ours. This plant does great, doesn't get too large, maybe three or four feet. A nice addition to your landscape, straight from Australia. Native and desert adaptive plants are great options for here in Southern Nevada. They're sturdy, they take the heat, they're low maintenance, and you'll find these and many more varieties at local nurseries and the Springs Preserve.